So I'm here with BTCC legend Jason Plato. So Jason, you've uh, just done. Get your hands on. <laughs> so Jason, you've just done qualifying, and I would have bet my pocket money on you getting pole. And you were so close as well. Do you know uh, why, why was it just a, a matter of how it fell, or was, was there a reason why you were so close? Um, yeah, I just didn't get the lap. If I'm really honest, uh, I, you know, my pace. Um, you know, I can do. I could do quite a few laps around that sort of pace, but to get the ultimate pace, you've got to kind of get the rhythm right. And on my first run, I got traffic going into lap three, which then meant I had to abort that lap and try and find some space. And that then happened again on the second set of tyres. So I didn't really get the best out of it. And then actually, on the, we, we then had time to do uh, to put just uh, some front fronts on and to go, go again. And that normally doesn't produce a balance, which it didn't, but it can sometimes produce a lap time. And I was up on my last lap and I made a mistake. So I've only kind of got myself to blame, really, in that, you know, it was there and, and, I, and I made a mistake. Now, uh, in, the, in the last two years, you've had one win, two seconds and one third. Um, does that... Uh, Your memory is brilliant, isn't it? Because I, I can't remember <laughs> what happened yesterday. <laughs> Does that, does that uh, mean, especially starting third, which already would put you on the podium, does that mean you, sh you should really be challenging for, for another win? Uh, yeah, you know, I should, I should be having some wins around here this weekend. I mean, we, you know, I'm, I'm not surprised at Colin's pace because obviously he's, you know, we, we sit in there and we, you know, everybody helps each other. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised at Gordon, actually. Gordon's produced a very good lap time. So we need to have a look at the, you know, how he's produced that lap time. Uh, but I think, you know, with the weight that Gordon's got, got on, he's going to be a, a factor. Um, you know, we know that when we put weight in our car, it improves the balance. Um, and we also know that when we tested here at the media day, we were on maximum ballast. So I think, I, I think, you know. I think we're in good shape for some, definitely for some podiums. Obviously, if there's a win there, then I'll be trying for it. Uh, but of course, we've also got to keep, you know, half half an eye looking at our grid position for race two, and that obviously that's decided by your lap pace. You know, your fastest lap in race one, and that's a different regulation this year, and that throws a bit of a curveball into our what would normally be our planning so we've got to think about that but yeah the upshot is we'll be on the pace tomorrow and we'll have a sh shout of winning some races now uh, you sp spoke about Gordon Shedden um, he's been on the podium eight times in the last uh, nine races here do, do you think that he that it will be as close between you uh, Gordon and Colin in the race that it was uh, on the lap times uh, uh, today yeah, I do. I think Colin's going to. I think uh, Gordon's going to be very quick. I think. I think if you look at the top three, you know, we we see, seem to be quite a bit ahead of the rest by about half a second or something like that. Um, of course, we will all put our. You know, we'll all change our cars now and put put, put a race set set up on, and that will take a little bit of performance away. But I still think the top three will be the top three tomorrow. And finally, um, 75 kilos, which is the new uh, extended ballast, and uh, soft size does seem to be killing teams um, in, in the races. Uh, I, I guess as much as you want to win, it would be nice to try and avoid that, having that situation for a race. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, if you want to do well, well in this track championship, you're going to have to learn and set the car up to work well with big bad ballast and on the soft tyre. And obviously a new regulation for this year is we you know we have to use a soft tire three times in race one three times in race two and three times in race three and that's gonna that's unknown territory for all of us really everyone up and down the pit lane to to think about what is the best strategy so um yeah you know 75 kilos on soft tire it's probably a bit too much but it's the same for everyone you know we've all got to to learn how, how, how to get the best out of that. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Jason. I look very for I look forward to uh, seeing you on the top step of the podium tomorrow. That's very kind. Thank you.